any of you dudes who, who, who hit women, beat women, shoot women, all that, you I put, I put that, that on, on my, my life, bro. They say when a black woman gets killed and everything, nobody cares, but hey, this my little cousin, bro, so I care. We care, my family care, bro. We just want justice, I swear to God. That's it. Bro, I really need y'all help. Somebody killed my little cousin and the media and police, Houston police at that, not doing it. And I, we need help, bro. Like, we just want justice type shit, you feel me? So, this is the story of Dontia Clark, aged 20, a beautiful young lady who was shot dead because she got pregnant for someone who did not want a baby. The killer was caught on camera before he committed the act and after he committed the act. She dated this person for a brief period of around two to three months before she was killed in cold blood for getting pregnant by him. Hello and welcome to Twisted Crimes. Subscribe and hit the like button for more stories. This story will be taking us to Houston, Texas. Houston can be a safe place depending on where you live. Crime Grade's crime map shows the safest places in the Houston area in green. The most dangerous areas in the Houston area are in red, with moderately safe areas in yellow. The rate of crime in the Houston area is 40.32 per 1,000 residents during a standard year. People who live in the Houston area generally consider the northwest part of the city to be the safest. Your chance of being a victim of crime in the Houston area may be as high as 1 in 13 in the north neighborhoods, or as low as 1 in 41 in the northwest part of the city. Dontia Natasha Clark was born on November 15, 2001 in Saginaw, Michigan to Edward Forte and Tasha Clark. She was described as a happy child by her siblings. Dontia took her life serious as much as she could. She graduated from high school and focused on what she loved to do the most, which was creating beauty. Dontia loved doing hair, she has a salon which she ran out of her house. Her salon was called the Houston Braider. She was popular to a great extent in the Houston area. This are some of her hand work. As busy as she gets, she tries to wind down sometimes. How my birthday went. I gotta get this shit like right. right. That shit could be hard. Okay. Dontia was also a person who had great love for God. She believed in God and she let God lead various aspects of her life. God showed himself to me when I was at my lowest. I don't know what was going on. I was dealing with a narcissist, but I didn't know at the time. I was just like, man, why is he doing this to me? And I was on TikTok, and a bunch of videos popped up, back to back to back, narcissists. I'm like, and then I like looked at one. I'm like, so this is what I'm dealing with. And then I was like so confused. I had told him, I'm like, I know what you're doing. I'm cutting you off. I'm done with you. But I just couldn't make it up in my mind. And I was like, God, like... Did I make the right decision by stop messing with this boy? And like, I was laying on my bed and it was like, he just leaned over me and was like, yes, you made the right decision. I'm like, oh. like, I started crying because I felt his presence, like he was leaned over me, literally. And I was like, oh, like, oh, that, I had to let him go because for God to show himself right then and there, that was significant that he had to go. God will allow the devil to test you to see if your faith is strong. For example, I just had a client. It was supposed to be for today. I had a client who booked for today, but she ended up canceling a couple of days ago. Mind you, my check was smaller than I thought. So I was like, oh my God, like, I'm not going to have no money for this whole week. So I, you know, I was like, okay, God, can you please give me a client for Saturday? Left it at that. I'm like, you know, a replacement client. And it was like, 11 at night literally like 11 at night and i got a text from my client you know one of my clients she was like Girl, i'm trying to book on your website for the morning she was like are you available tomorrow am i am i yes and i was supposed to get 120 from the first girl but i ended up getting 150 
from this client. I was like, mm, look at look at God. He comes through. Gotta keep the faith. Don Tia was active on Twitter. She was in communication with a young man named Caleb via Twitter. This casual communication later turned romantic and they finally met each other after a couple of months chatting online. After dating for around two to three months, Dantia got pregnant by Caleb. She was excited after taking a pregnancy test to confirm that she was pregnant. She went ahead to call her boyfriend Caleb to inform him about the good news. After telling Caleb, she called her sisters to inform them that she would become a mother in a couple of months. She told them she was eight weeks pregnant. One of her sister confirmed that she told her about the pregnancy, she said Dantia was excited, but she was scared, and she told her it's okay to be scared, it's your first child she said. Just 24 hours after he informed Caleb who didn't sound too happy with the news, Dantia was home alone when she heard someone knock on her door, she opened up in a manner that shows she knows the person only for her to be shot right in the head. This video footage shows what happened in the minutes before she was killed. A man can be seen in this video acting very suspicious. He is seen running into her building and then running back out after spending less than three minutes in that building. A day passed without her communicating with her family members. Her mom got worried, thereby sending her brother to go check on her. Upon getting there, he found a gruesome scene. She had been murdered. She was laying on the floor in her blood. The police was called and they declared her dead. Further investigation was conducted by the Houston Police Department but they could not pinpoint the killer. They didn't arrest anyone even though the family told them all they knew. Her families believe they know who did the crime. They believe the crime stemmed out of her being just eight weeks pregnant for someone who didn't want it. Just something wasn't right. When Tasha Clark and her family oh, didn't hear from her daughter all day Saturday, she sent her son so I'll live my sister. over to her apartment on Gustine in southwest Houston, where she lived alone to check on her. He found the worst. I really still don't think it just hit me yet. You know, I, 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 I know she I know she's gone. But I still don't think it, it really just hit me yet that my baby's not finna be here ever. Ever again. Houston police say Dantia Clark was shot multiple times inside her own apartment where she died. It happened sometime between last Friday night and early Sunday morning. Police told the family it appeared that she knew her killer because there was no forced entry. She wanted a girl. Dantia had just learned that she was pregnant. Then you just didn't take my baby, you took my grandbaby. In a press release, police said they had no suspects, witnesses, or motive. That's the part that's really frustrating. It's like, when is she gonna matter? You know, when is she gonna matter? The bubbly 20 year old her aunt describes as extra. She's going to sing, she's going to dance, she's going to laugh, she's going to talk smack. Just everything with her is overly. Had dreams. This is a mother's nightmare. I just need justice for my baby. That's all. That's it. Tasha, her sister, said there were no signs of forced entry, which leads them to believe she knew the killer and felt comfortable enough to let them in. Her brother went online to vent saying this about the whole incident. Bro, I really need y'all help. Somebody killed my little cousin and the media and police, Houston police at that not doing shit. And I, we need help, bro. Like we just want justice type shit, you feel me? So they say when a black woman gets killed and everything, nobody cares, but hey, this my little cousin, bro. So I care, we care, my family care, bro. We just want justice, I swear to God, that's it. Like, so. What I'm saying is, bro, bro, somebody in Houston, he know who he is, shot and killed my little cousin in her apartment. F***ed up, bro, to even think about it, bro. Like, we just want justice, justice for Dante Clark. I need y'all to help me. Hit up every damn Houston news outlet, hit up the damn, really, HPD, HPD get at me, please. Been trying to contact you for two weeks. Damn near HPD. Hit up HPD. Blast they ass. Call them like, hey, we, have, we need an update on 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 Dontia Clark. Ain't nobody. We haven't heard nothing, bro. Ever since the investigation had started, we talked to them one time and one time only, and they heard nothing again since. Been calling them two or three times a day, and it's not even us calling them to be like, hey, what's going on? It's calling like, hey, bro, we got more evidence. We didn't. We already didn't did the job for them. If you know what I mean, the job is already done, bro. So. I just, we need y'all here, bro. Like, they, they acting like they don't care. 
it's just another dead body of them, you know what I'm saying? But like, nah, like that's, that's not how this shit about to go like at all. So we need y'all help like bad, bro. Um, She wasn't in no streets. She wasn't doing nothing, bro. All she did was she just, she just braided hair, bro. So like, foul, bro. Hey, any, any of you dudes who, who, who hit women, beat women, shoot women, all that, you a I put that on my life, bro. They remembered her as a very nice, smart, happy, and bubbly person. They held a nice memorial for her. A 20-year-old pregnant woman murdered in her apartment held a candlelight vigil in her honor. And they also shared a video of a person who they believe could be the suspect, a person who entered and then ran from her apartment. Fox 26's Gabby Hart joining us from South Gessner and South Grayswood Boulevard, where this happened, bringing us details. Oh, that's right. Family and friends gathered outside that young woman's apartment. Uh, they created a small makeshift memorial right at her doorstep. Tonight, her family telling us they believe they know exactly who took her life. Show the young woman in the bus. The family of 20 year old Dontia Clark says they still haven't fully processed the fact that she's really gone. I don't truly want to believe she's gone. I still call her phone to this day. I still text her praying she's going to pick up, but I know she's not. It's just she should be here. Her sister says Clark found out she was eight weeks pregnant the day before she was shot to death inside of her apartment. She was excited, but she was also scared. I even told my sister, it's okay to be scared. You know, it's your first child. It's okay. That's the last conversation I had with my sister. Her family believes the father of her unborn child is responsible. If you didn't want the child, you could have just left her alone. They shared this video with Fox 26, showing a man entering Clark's apartment. You can later see him running from her building. He stops, turns around, and goes back toward her apartment. Then he can be seen running back out and away from the scene. I can't see nobody else but him. I don't know if I'm wrong or not, but that's all I see. After not hearing from Clark, her family became worried, so they sent her brother to check on her. That's when he made the gruesome discovery. Clark had been shot multiple times and left to die. I'm just going to miss my baby. I do not believe he took my baby away from me. Clark's mother says there were no signs of forced entry, which leads them to believe that she knew the killer and felt comfortable enough to let them in. She not going to let anybody in her house that she don't know. You took my sister and you left her in the house by herself. That's not right. That's not right. You're free. As at the time of making this video, no arrest has been made. Houston police are urging anyone with a meaningful information about the case to contact them or Crime Stoppers to remain anonymous. We do hope the perpetrator of this crime is arrested very soon. Our sincere condolences to the friends and families of Dontia Clark. May Dontia's memory be a blessing for her family and for all who knew her, and may her life and death be an inspiration and a turning point towards justice and increased protection for domestic abuse survivors. Please stay safe out there and see you guys in the next video.